So if I had a gun to my head forcing me to start trading all over again, completely from scratch, really learning everything that I already know, there'll be one single thing that I would definitely learn first. There'll be one single thing that will apply to whatever strategy I'm using to make sure that I have the highest one percentage right off the bat. And this one thing is what we're going to talk about today. I'm going to share this with you guys. This is the most important thing that definitely increased my win rate from which let's say 50%. To 70 percent this one thing that i'm talking about is known as fair value gap now the different definitions to it i'll explain it how i like to describe it and this is simply when you have price shoot up from one place to another let's say i'm trying to sell you this airpods max for example and i offer this to you for 20 dollars. now what price needs to eventually do is that i have to offer this to you for 19 dollars, 18 17 15 i have to offer it for all those different prices that i missed to you as a buyer right it's basically the same thing when we trade price always has to fill all those gaps it has to go to all those prices if it just randomly shoots up because of a spike it will eventually need to go back to fill those gaps and you can see this on the chart as well but i will show you guys everything i'm talking about in a second but that's a simple way to describe what a fair value gap is also before the video ends i'll also do a small back to session just to show you guys an example of when i'm using fair value gaps and when I'm not using fair value gaps, and we'll see what the win percentage will be for, let's say, this week. All right, so I'm looking at the charts right now. I'm going to show you guys a few examples of what fair value gaps are so you can fully understand this properly. Now, this is the four hour chart. We can see fair value gaps everywhere. And just as I explained before, let's just use horizontal lines as an example. And we're focusing on this section of the chart. So we can see that after, I mean, this is mostly going to apply to supply and demand because that is how I trade, that's what I know best. So I'm probably going to be biased and talking about, you know, supply and demand most of the time. But you can see, according to this now, we have this supply zone right here. And we have price shoot down aggressively on the four hour chart. Now, if we're looking at this candle, one black candle, then we have two. And then we have the next blue one. Fair value gaps requires three candles for you to determine if a gap has been filled. We can see that the blue one was the starting one. The black one was the one that shut down. And then if we're looking at the next one, we can see that there is a tiny wick right there. So if we were to zoom in and look at this properly, what we are now seeing is that this wick right here does not interact with this blue wick right there. The middle candle is like the subject in this case. The blue candle and the black wick candle right here needs to interact. They need to overlap in some way, right? But that does not happen so that's just one example okay if we're looking at one that has been filled then if we're focusing on these two candles right here we can see that initially we had this blue candle right here then we had price dump then this wick right here went up slightly but did not fill the gap so in that case we have this tiny little gap right here we have this space right here where these two wicks do not interact eventually price shut down shut down so at this current moment, we have this gap right here. And obviously we have more gaps as well, not just that. There's also a gap if we're using this example, we have a gap right there and we have a gap right here. So there is this section right here where these two wicks do not interact. These are fair value gaps. So eventually price will go up and we'll have to fill these gaps. We don't know when it's gonna happen, but it always happens at some point. So right now you can see that this one candle right there shut up and filled those gaps. And at the moment it's, tapped into this gap as well so right now this gap has gotten smaller just that small right slightly yeah pretty much you get the idea so now that's what that gap has shrinked into and now they'll have to fill it again you can see the next candle has now completely filled the gap and there was a huge rejection so when price fills fair value gaps that's what tends to happen it, there's usually some sort of rejection especially if there's a lot of sellers and when you combine this with supply and demand now that is when you have something really cooking but i'm just going to show you guys exactly what i'm talking about right so you can see in this case now this is on a four hour chart you're not really going to take entries and stuff in a four hour but in this case we have a supply zone we had the gap that has been filled so now that's combining two things we had a supply zone and fair value gap attached to the zone so now that the fair value gap has been filled we are expecting them to then go downwards right that's pretty much what we expected them to do now because they fill the gap yes there are more gaps up top there's a gap right from here all the way to here so sometimes they might want to push up even more but usually we do get rejections from gaps so in this case now they fill the gap if you get the right confirmation and then you should sort of expect price to sort of start trickling down so that is just a general idea but obviously i do not trade on a four hour chart but i'm just using that so you guys can see a very very clear example of it i trade on a three minute now and this is what I use every single day. So now I'm going to show you guys different examples of when I actually took trades this week, literally this week, and how 
fair value that was present and how i was able to win these trades and then i'm gonna sort of go through it go through trades where there was no fair value gaps i rarely do this so i don't even know if there's any that i'll find i rarely ever pay attention to setups without fair value gap but we'll find some and we'll see if they do win or if they do lose so first of all right off the bat today was thursday we had uh i had a losing trade today which was fine there was a fair value gap present in this trade as per usual now the three minute is a bit more messy that's why i showed you guys i set up on a four hour but this was just one so now we're going back in time right i had this setup right here we had price trickle down now right now where's our fair value gap we have a fair value gap between that you know this wick right here where our supply actually starts from and we can see that hasn't been filled yet so right now we have this gap present so we just need price to go back and fill it eventually they do and once price filled it we're waiting for our entry we got our entry and then eventually we got stopped out of the trade so that was just one for today that was pretty much the only setup today didn't win we moved up on swiftly you know that's fine but then if we go back to yesterday though yesterday we had a london session we had the same thing you can see now so far we've got one loss right with fair value gaps we have another example right here where price comes in at the moment where the fair value gap initially right initially the gap was from here to obviously where the the, the zone starts so in this case now price went up and started filling it so now that we have this black wick all the way down here now this is where the gap is too but now that we have price trickling down even more the gap continues to shrink right so now this is how much gap is left once they give us the next candle you can see the huge rejection immediately after they tapped into this, the, the demand zone plus fill the gap immediately shut up we enter the trade and we left for a quick one to one in this case but then you can see in new york session we had the same thing again we had our fair value gap which is present and right now the fair value gap is from where try and do it with me we have one starting from here and we have one i mean you draw it in threes right so technically if we're looking at one two three candle then right now we have a fair value gap, fair value gap right there we have one right there but then we also have a gap from here to there as well right because you have one two and the most recent i guess candle in this case this blue candle is now shut up and filled the gap slightly so right now there's a gap right here and there's a gap right here so as we keep playing it out you see this gap now officially has been filled i mean all the gaps have been filled in this case and again you can see once we had the gaps filled huge rejection straight away as soon as price tapped as soon as price tapped into the zone and then we're waiting for entry we got entry eventually this right now is a 1 to 2.34 that i was looking for price played around for a little bit and then we hit cp so we lost one today we won you know i took these two trades yesterday so overall this is like a 3.5 r um trade yesterday plus um another that happened here but let's just go back right so far that's like two winning trades already um then we had another one i'll just use this as another example once again these are literally live trades that i took literally this week so this is another example right now if we're looking at where the gap is personally i just need the gap to be in front of my zone so we have a gap in front of my zone to whatever the most recent is so right now there's a gap present right here if you're to actually draw how it should be so we're using from the zone then we have you know these candles right here so you just need a gap to be present in front of the zone for you to pretty much take the setup that is all it does the rest of the zones the rest of the gaps you know wherever else it might be not really relevant i just care about the one that is relevant to you how i trade so i just need a gap in front of the zone which there is so eventually when price fills the gap as you can see again boom rejection in this um this case they haven't even closed within that gap yes there is a gap within the zone but it doesn't really matter to me because yes if you look at this there's a gap from here to well in this case it'll be a gap from here to here but doesn't really matter because obviously this is a demand zone and they've tapped into the zone already. Once I get my confirmation, I'm leaving at uh, one to four in this case. Price played around for a little bit and eventually we smacked TP. So this was Tuesday, beautiful, beautiful trade. And then did we have a trade on Monday? Uh, yeah, so we didn't have a trade on Monday London session. So that has been this week so far. Now to find setups without fair value gaps, I mean, let's just quickly scan and see if there is any revolt tip let me just take a second to tell you about a product that allowed me to get around any kind of bands to have multiple amazon accounts or multiple ebay accounts bro this software i'm talking about is called go login and you can literally surf the web 
without your identity being notified these days you literally have things like facebook every single website literally wants your data your identity so they can probably sell it to make some sort of money but when you have go login bro this means that you can almost surf the web from any location whatsoever you are and mask your identity so for me this meant that when i got banned by ebay i was able to make another ebay account with a whole different you know information they didn't even know that it's coming from you know london which is where i'm based at you're able to do things like this same with amazon once you start to make a lot of money amazon's going to eventually ban you and to get around amazon bans you kind of have to make new accounts but if they know who you are if they know that's coming from your location they know your name and everything this means that you're probably going to get banned again but when you have go login this literally solves the problem so now with go login you can literally serve the web safely without any website tracking you there will be a link down in the description below for you to actually sign up completely for free and thanks to go login for sponsoring this video okay so we do have a setup right now we have a break of structure everything is all there we have this setup right here we can see price pushing up but we don't have a gap literally in front of the zone we have it after it but we don't have one in front of the zone so right now the gap present here so now the gap for this setup right here is from here to here and it's not really attached to my zone. I need it to be in front of the zone, right? Those are the examples I've been showing us so far. We can see that price eventually came in, can fill the gap completely. Once they fill the gap completely now, what happens? Price shoots up, would have entered this trade. And once, they, and once price shot up, we can see that now it's basically trickling down. You eventually get stopped out um and yeah the rest is basically history i believe yeah and it's kind of wrapped so i'm not going to go through you know many many more examples of setups without a fair value gap because you shouldn't really focus on them anyway you want to focus on the ones with a fair value gap so this this has been the key to literally my win ratio high significantly higher as soon as i started implementing fair value gap so i hope this video has been somewhat useful if you did find any value be sure to let me know down in the comments below and be sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one peace